Hello and welcome to The Fort Report. I'm Chris Conley. And I'm Alicia Woodruff. Happy, Happy anniversary! <laughs> One year ago, the city joined forces with PetSmart to open a new adoption center at a PetSmart store in Southwest Fort Worth. Since then, the success has been remarkable. Thanks to this partnership, nearly 2,900 adoptable animals have found new homes. That's a 115% increase in shelter pet adoptions over the previous year. The puppy looks up at Mrs. McLeod as if to say, I would like you to be my mistress. I will take good care of your babies. If you haven't seen the Adoption Center, you need to make the trip. You'll find it at 4800 Southwest Loop 820. That's just west of the intersection of I-20 and Hewlin. Hours are 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Friday and Saturday, and 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Sunday. I had one left. Hey, Mayfest is coming up this weekend, and you know what that means, don't you? I don't know, but I know you have a thing for food on a stick. Is it that again? No, that's Main Street Arts Festival. Mayfest is all about collecting plastic cups. That sounds unsanitary. No, they're all cups that I've purchased. Last year, I think I ended up with eight. I definitely won't be going with you then. Don't make assumptions. Mayfest is thirsty business. Apart from plastic cups, Mayfest offers seven stages of live entertainment, over 40 booths of handmade crafts, dozens of food vendors, and my favorite, the Great American Duck Race. Check out Mayfest.org for the details. Lastly, and I didn't know about this, but this is good stuff, with more than 3,620 acres of land and 20 miles of hiking trails, the Fort Worth Nature Center is one of the largest city-owned nature centers in the United States. Yeah, isn't that amazing? And if that wasn't enough, they also have dancing buffalo. When Meanie comes near, there is always trouble. Wait, stop. What? I know, right? They're highlighting them this weekend. Man, if they have plastic cups too. Chris, you need to start reading beyond the headlines of press releases. The Nature Center is hosting the Buffalo Boogie. It's a one mile or 5K run for individuals, families, groups, schools, and pets. There's also a 5K competitive run. The route is shady, quiet, and baby stroller friendly. Last year, more than 1,000 people turned out for the event and enjoyed live country music, entertaining and educational games, face painting, clowns, balloons, artists, exhibits, and lots of good food. Oh, well, I won't lie. I'm slightly disappointed. Will it be cups? 